The Merrimack Repertory Theater is staging the world premiere of the one-man play called Kinyum. It's the story of a young Cambodian man working the graveyard shift in a New York City hotel while trying to make sense of the legacy of genocide in Cambodia. Back in December, cast, crew, and cohorts of Kin Yum met at MRT's offices on Warren Street downtown. Taryn Kimmel, Director of Marketing. Nick Kane, Interim Director of Development. They gathered for the first table read of this one-man play starring the play's author, Vichet Chum. Good evening. Thank you for calling Hotel East Houston. How can I... Son? Are you there? Son, this is bad. Why you not pick up the phone when I call you? Okay. Kinyom is about a young Cambodian man working graveyard shifts at a hotel in New York City. And in this space, he encounters his dreams and those of his parents um, who are survivors of the genocide in Cambodia. Cambodia barely occupied a paragraph, an afterthought of the Vietnam War. So what if that afterthought is your origin story? Cambodian Americans, first generation Cambodian Americans, um, I know they struggle with that sort of question of how do I move forward with this legacy. One quarter of the population died from execution, starvation, and disease. It tackles some really tricky things. Uh, it tackles some, some real life events that were certainly hard and traumatic. Um, but I think it's hilarious. No, I think it's really funny. I am Cambodia. And I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> Our media designer is mapping so we can put an image on the front of the desk. We can We've come to expect fresh and exciting stage design and sets from MRT Productions, and this show is no exception. There are several segments of the play that take place in Guy's imagination and in these dreams. And so what we're doing here is we're constructing a world where video projection can be cast onto our set. But when you're up, in, when you're up there... Does it want to feel like a memory? And how do you make a video projection look like a memory? Taking the sheen off is the right thing to do. So it's a little bit of thinking like uh, the director of a film every once in a while in the middle of building a theatrical experience. And what makes it uniquely theatrical is that we have no idea that we're gonna be transported in the ways that we are. So every time the video projection comes on, what we want it to do is to surprise all of us. Theater is all about telling stories, and Kinyum's principals all agree that it was time to tell this one, particularly under the current Trump administration. And I woke up the morning after the election, and it really felt like it was clear to me that telling stories of people that don't look like us is the most important thing that any of us could be doing at this moment. There are not a lot of Asian American stories. There are not, there's certainly not a lot of Cambodian American stories out there. Um, I felt like it was my responsibility as an artist to take on that and to really write for my people. Vichet is also very much a poet, and so he wrote these poetic flights. Um, and so all we had to do was serve the beautiful play he had already written. And this is actually my very first big play that I've written myself. There are stilted houses with woven bamboo walls and thatched roofs. A picture. And I firmly believe that this production puts ourself on stage. It just depends on what we describe as us, right? Us, to me, is a country that's a mosaic of many different skin colors, experiences, cultural um, origins. I want Cambodians to come see the show because I am, a, I am them, and I am their son, and I am their brother, and I am sharing a story that is so, so much about my family, and Cambodians are all about family. And then people will finally be able to locate Cambodia on a map. <laughs> MRT, putting this play on this stage, uh, it is saying to the community, we hear you, we see you, you matter, and you're welcome here. And I think that's pretty huge.